I have been going through hell this past week. Like, it's literally been the worst week of my life. One week straight, one week tomorrow that this happened. Worst week of my life. I've been in so much pain. I've been ashamed to go out. <laughs> it's not even funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. I've been ashamed to go out. I've been ashamed to be seen. Like... I feel like I just had to make this video to kind of explain what's going on because I just, I've just been feeling useless. You know when you're not doing anything, you're just lying around all day, just in pain, crying. It's been my life this past week. But anyways, in case you're seeing my face for the first time, hi, I'm Nello. I'm not talking like I normally do because I am going through a lot. Um, I don't know if you already noticed that this part of my face is swollen. Can you guys see that? Oh, my face is swollen. Um, it was worse. It was way worse. I'm going to insert pictures here now so that you guys will see how bad it was. It was really, really bad. Like, I felt the need to explain anywhere I go. Like, I wasn't even going out, but say there's an emergency and I, I just had to go out and, and be seen. I always felt the need to explain to people. See? It's not easy. So about two weeks ago, I started having pains again. If you've been on this channel in the past, you know that this happens once every few months. This wisdom took to start disturbing me. Um, the last time it happened, I went to the dentist. The dentist, I was like, just remove this tooth or remove it. Let me just, let me just move on from it. And she was like, um, what's it called? She can just cut off the gum and try and do some repairs. If it now doesn't work, let me come back and then she'll remove it. Which, thinking about it now, because while I was on the table getting that procedure done, Abby, it was another day that I went for teeth whitening, me and Uchi. I had her talking on the phone with someone saying, ah, um, she can't do a certain procedure for the person. Then when she called the phone, she was not telling her colleague how she do all the procedures at once. Why would she not need to make money later? So, thinking back, I feel like that's what she did to me. So when I decided to not remove it, I just didn't bother going back there because I'm like, you cannot take my money twice, missus, okay? But aside from that, she didn't even know what she was doing. That teeth whitening experience was so horrible. I don't even know if the teeth stayed white. Like, I don't think my teeth stayed white. I mean, like, whatever she used, because she had to, she kept doing it. That's not what we're here today, Sha. But anyways, um, and I went to another clinic that, you know, they have better experience, more expensive, but better. And the doctor was actually really nice, was really good. So um, I might put a picture of, of what my teeth looked like before, I'm not sure. But I was just having issues with one tooth, the one at the back, which is my wisdom tooth. So um, I don't even know if I'm making sense. <laughs> I was in pain, I couldn't eat. My gums were swelling up. It was impacting uh, the second one. Long story short, I did my x-ray, it was bad, so they had to extract it. So I had surgical tooth extraction. Basically, they remove it and they cut, remove, and then stitch. So I still have stitches inside right now. If I have a picture, a video, whatever, I'll just be adding as I speak. I don't want this video to be too long. I'm just here to explain what's been going on in my life. I did the extraction on Monday, last week Monday, um, like a week tomorrow. And since then, I've been going through hell. I've been so ashamed to go out. Like the first day I did the extraction, I was just in pain. I was just crying. The second day, the swelling. The first day, the swelling was kind of like this. Then it got worse the second day. And by the second night, it was massive. I was in pictures. It was massive. I, was, I tried to update you guys on my like daily journey, but that was a big fail. But... Anything I was able to record, I'm going to input it here. So you guys, it's one day post recovery. I had the extra extraction yesterday. Look at how swollen my face is. I don't even know if this is normal. Like, I can barely open my mouth. I just started speaking well today. Yesterday I was just humming. Not even humming, I was just doing mm-mm. Well, kind of humming. And um, luckily Kobe could understand me. Um, yeah, today I'm able to talk, I'm still not able to eat, even though I forced myself to take small oats this afternoon, 
So I took small oil, like I'll just put it in my mouth and just swallow, put it in my mouth and swallow. I'm about to gang, um, gargle on warm water and salt. They said I shouldn't gargle, I should just turn it to this side, stay for a while and then just let it slide out. <sighs> so far so good. Yesterday I was able to open my mouth more than today. It wasn't just holding yesterday. So I was able to see well yesterday. I could see the stitches and everything. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. Day one. So this is day four. I had the extraction on Monday. This is Thursday. My face is still swollen. You guys can see it clearly. But I'm able to speak better now. And I still can't shout. I can't. But I can't talk with force. I can't shout. It's still painful. Um, I've actually not taken my pain med this morning and. You know, I feel okay. The pain is there, but bearable. Do you get? I don't know if I'll take pain med today. Maybe if it get, gets worse, maybe I will, so I'll be able to eat comfortably. So for the past three days or two days, I've been eating. Um, I didn't eat for over 24 hours, which wasn't advised, actually, but I was in too much pain. But since I started eating, I've been eating the same food, which is oats and egg. Oats and egg. I fry the egg soft, so it just melts in my mouth. I tried to eat before yesterday. Um, papaya. <laughs> I tried to eat papaya yesterday, but it wasn't as soft because I was looking for things that can just melt in my mouth. As I'm speaking, my mouth is paining me. So like, like the next, it's not even the next stage. Like, I think I have injury. I don't know, maybe not injury, maybe it's still the whole thing being swollen because I don't, I can't see any wound when I look, but it feels like a wound and it's kind of paining me as I'm moving my mouth. And look at this wound that they gave me here, very annoying. Um, is this, I think it's pulling enough. I've been trying to keep it moisturized so it doesn't feel too dry. Let me stop talking now. Anyways, that's my update. So, that's what I've been going through. It's been like a week now. Let's just say a week. It's been a week and I'm still in so much pain. I can't talk well. My biggest struggle is actually opening my mouth. So now, like, when I'm brushing the pain, because I can't open my mouth wide, so I just brush, like, from here to here. I've not brushed here in a week. Then my tongue, I just tried to gently just, mm, you know. And um, when it comes to eating, for the first like five days, four days, no, four days, I only ate oats. Then I ran out of oats in the house. One day, like a joke, I went to Adidas house and like, them just buy beans. It's, beans is soft. So I ate beans for two days. But yesterday and today, my dear, I ate food, I will not lie. I just couldn't hold it anymore. But another thing, I don't know if it's the eating of the food. Obviously, I'm not eating meat. Like, I'm eating soft meat. I'm not eating anything strong or stressful. Or anything that requires me to open my mouth too wide. But one thing I noticed yesterday, like, when I'm doing my salt water thing, because they put your meds, they tell you to do the salt, uh, salt and warm water solution, rinsing every two hours, which I've been doing, because I don't want stories that touch. I realized, like, two days ago, that when I now do it, it's like, the pain after is just massive. And I went to check, and I realized that the stitches is like one cut. So there's a wound there. I'm like, who did that offend? Like, <laughs> I've not been myself. I've not been myself. Um, I can't speak well. One part of my face is swollen. But I feel like if I do makeup and wear a wig now, it's not like as bad. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's not as bad. It's just here. It probably got better today compared to yesterday, now that I'm thinking of it. Because yesterday I feel like it was a lot more obvious. But I have a lot of work that I have to get done. I don't know how I'm going to do. But I feel like I look okay enough now to to start working again. And I have so many videos that I've already finished planning and taking my notes on that I want to film. I have jobs like brands that have already paid me that. And they start working on their videos and hopefully by Tuesday, I believe it's by Tuesday because tomorrow I'm removing the stitches. So hopefully by Tuesday, I'll be able to, you know, to get these things done. This morning, I already put ice on it. I'm going to probably do that again, take my meds and then sleep after and just rest. I feel like any night I get enough rest, I feel a bit better in the morning. But have you guys had such good tooth or teeth extraction before, depending on if you remove one or multiple? How was it? I see that people do more than one at a time. I'm like, what? I can barely survive with this one that I did. And they are telling me that this one might end up needing extraction. I'm like, see, unless that's about to kill me, I'm not removing anything. Unless I'm about to die. Like, literally, <laughs> I'm not removing anything. I've just been going through a lot, you guys. I've been going through a lot. I don't wish this on my enemies. 
But maybe I actually wish it on my enemies. I don't know what I wish them. I don't know if I have enemies anyways. <laughs> Depending on the kind of enemy you are. Maybe. Maybe you deserve to go through this stress. <laughs> but seriously, it's been hell. But I just felt like coming out here and telling you guys what I've been going through. The doctor that did it to me when he was extracting. In fact, I like to say that it's him that did this thing to me because it's probably what I got to do. He did this to me. Like, you know, he kept pulling and pulling. So, in fact, <laughs> this story is all over the place. There's a part that they actually didn't remove because it was too close to the next uh, tooth beside it. So they were like, if they remove it, that means that one will damage. So they left a small part. And now when they kept trying and trying and trying, the force was just too much. Like, I could feel the force, like the pressure. Obviously, I was numb, but I could feel so much pushing and pressure. I feel like that's just what I'm suffering now. It's ridiculous, but he's very good and very experienced. Like, mid-extraction, mid he did an x-ray again to make sure, like, he's not going close to any nerve. And to see how close the other one was, the, the, the one who was trying to move was with the one next to it. To know if he will leave it or extract it. Just not to be, uh, just so he doesn't damage anything that is good. Do you get? Like it was a good ex, like it was a good experience. He was a good experience. It was what? What, how, what am I trying to say? Trying to say, you see, the extraction wasn't a good experience, but like the doctor that did it did it well, so he made the general experience good. Okay. I was crying on that table. Like I was just, cry I've cried so much this past week. Unbelievable. Kobe sees me crying, telling me, "Mommy, why are you sad?" I'm like, "I'm in pain. I'm in so much pain. I'm just so sad." <laughs> Mama tell me, mommy, I'm sorry. When you're sad, I'm sad. Kobe will start crying. Kobe start crying like twice. So I had to just comport myself. I've been crying like a baby. I've been in so much pain. Um, I didn't take my pain med for a day. I felt like it got better. But then the next day, I wanted to run mad. So I'm still on pain meds till now. Obviously, I don't take it like all the time again. Sometimes just once a day, sometimes twice a day. But hopefully by tomorrow, I might not even need it anymore. But fingers crossed, that's what your girl has been going through. I just wanted to come out here and just tell you guys. I just have my back now. I'm even in my 90. I'm about to just take my meds. Um, do what's it called? Uh, what's it called? Put ice on here for a while and just and just sleep. Sleep. Call it a day. Um, when I wake up, I look for something to eat and just continue sleeping. <sighs> That's that. That's my update. So hopefully you guys will see a video next week. Hopefully, I'll be fully back to start uploading filming and uploading content but till then don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for 96k but almost 100k please don't forget to subscribe like comment share and all that good stuff and i'll catch you guys in my next one <laughs> i feel like i'm talking one-sided it's so funny <laughs>